Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'll be reviewing Big City Greens Season 2 Episode 6 and I have the full episode right here and so I have the first half in Popstar and the second half Football Camp so there's only two separate videos and and so without further ado let's get started Yes, um, I'm doing this video kind of late, and I kind of want to get it done. Because in my um, first channel, my main channel, I did another, I, I did a chapter of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, chapter 8, I think it was. I was planning on also doing chapter 9, but, you know, it got late and stuff, so. Mm. Yeah. Well, anyway, well, I definitely want to get this done. It's, yeah, I definitely want to get episode 6 done so that tomorrow I focus on the Lightyear trailer, the reaction review I'll do this Saturday, tomorrow, and Sunday I'll do Jurassic World D Dominion Kingdom, I think it's called. I'll do the reaction review for that on Sunday so I can get that done the weekend. Okay. <clears throat> So, first we have in Pop Star, and you know, we, we see this in the sign, you know, with the star. And you know, we see Bill, Alice, Tilly, Cricket, and Nancy, and you know, they're looking around, they're browsing. As you go to a sunglasses shop, and Nancy's like, Hey, Alice, you, do you think you could pull this off? And she's like, I don't know. Can I, um, what was it? Can, can I do me? Wait, hold on. You see, she puts them on. Okay. And you and Craig say, hey, Dad, I'm from the future. Can, I, can we buy these? He's like, no, you know, we can't afford these. It, it's, you know, it's okay with the browsing. And Craig's like, why are we just looking around and going store to store? Why can't we buy these? And Nancy's like, Come on, imagining is fun too. And Craig is like, no, it stinks. And these kids show up. Oh, can we get your autograph? And Craig is like, okay. And look, look right here, Craig is like a spider crab thing. And so oh, thank you, thank you. We got like you know, fanboys and fangirls. And then, um, and then Craig is like, what, what was that about? And she, and then she's like, hey, it's on the news. And Maria Medea. I guess this person called Zillin Brax, and um, he looks exactly like Cricket, but you, even Cricket says it. Um, Look at this. Premier me, Zillin was last seen earlier today at a press conference where he delivered some shocking news. I've called you all here to tell you I'm sick of fame and having everything given to me. And, and basically Craig said, Well, he looks like a premier me. And then I you know, like in, in Marina Day say, Oh, he went missing after he gave the speech. He's like and I think it's kinda of interesting. He's like, I'm sick of everything being given to me. And he's like, I wish I could have a normal life. And then and, you know, and Marie, Marie Medea is like, we are not doing any more news broadcasting of anything else until this national treasure is found. Okay. And Crick is like, what well, else weird? And then this guy's like, oh, Zillin Brax, that's you. Keep the sunglasses because you were complaining about them earlier. Keep them. And, and Crick is like, wait, you think I can keep these? Because I'm Zillin Brax? He's like, mm hmm. He's like, well, with this pop star out of the picture, his fame and fortune could be mine and then your Nancy's like hey do not let your mama out of this it, it could be ours and I think this is kind of part of Nancy's development where in the episode she actually learns that um lying like, of who your son is and stuff like that and like who you are um only leads you into trouble and stuff it is a part of Nancy's growth of being a better mom and it kind of makes sense why she revert back a little bit so this kind of makes sense 
And they go to an umbrella you know, shop and they're kind of, like, oh, you know, looking around. And they hear some racks in the next in the next store. And he's like, oh, why am I so famous? And he's like, oh, look at the family. So pure. So real. And then, um, this is my first complaint where Bill, we, we, um, Bill's like, hey, are you coming with this son? And so I was like, Oh, could this be my chance? No fame? No paparazzi? Yes, Dad, I'm coming home. home. Like, you know, he's singing it. And then Bill's like, You saw what Cricket looked like. And you, and you hear his voice. No country twang in it. You have to recognize that's not your son. Like, and, and the ear piercing? You you would be concerned and ask, Hey, Cricket, when did you get an ear piercing? Like, you, you know? Like, he doesn't question it. And was this Hudkins department star? Well, was this in the parade episode? Yeah, I think I might have. And then you know, and Crick's like, "Oh, you look, I'm some racks," and then Nancy's like, "I'll be your manager." And then and then Crick is like, "I, some racks, want these clothes. Now I don't have to pay for these, right?" And he's like, "Are you kidding? There's no store in the world, or at least in big city, that would make some racks pay." And they say, oh, let's, get t- let's give it a test. And they go to store to store, and there's a long line at the restaurant. It's booked. Zone breakfast gets the table. All these iPads, you know, they're running out of battery. They just get brand new ones. They're trying to shop for cars. They get a tank. And we get back to Zillin, and he's like, oh, I'm hanging with my new family. And then Zillin says, you must be grandfather, but... Later, he, he says, like, like oh, and they, he, he's like, oh, bonding with grandmother. And, like, so you understand this is a grandmother, but you think Phoenix the dog is a grandfather? I don't know. I know he's really rich and famous. He doesn't know about normal stuff, but come on, dogs. Like, you should know. I don't know. Especially since you think this is grandmother, which you're right. How does that grandfather? Like, it doesn't make any sense. And then, you know, Tilly's brushing it. He's like, oh, hey, sister, like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm brushing Saxon. He's like, oh, I love her banter. And Tilly's like, what? And then he's like, oh, hey, Dad, how can I help? Oh, it's, it's nice that you're taking some initiative, Cricket. I can use help with the trash. Okay, cool. And then Tilly's like, something going on with Cricket. And so Tilly's this kind of smart one. He's like, and then Saxon's like, oh, you better keep an eye on him. Jewels for cools. Okay. He's like, oh, and he's oh, enjoy the free jewelry, son. Oh my goodness. And then Nancy's like, oh, this was fun, but it's getting late. Let's go home. And he's like, I'm never going to stop being selling Brax. I don't want to go home. And everyone's just ransacking him now. He's like, oh, we, we, we. I say, um, Nancy's like, cricket, I'll hold him back. You, you go. And then, um, didn't you, and then he gets saved. Um, how can I. Uh, you see, like someone like, like pulls them in, and oh, who's this? And this this girl is is an American um place, and then um and you and then she, she locks them in. They're all in the crazy fan, and um and and crazy ah. And um, I just want to play this right here. This is just really funny. Was a jerf start? He said, "Oh, find me." He said, "Oh, I will." He got the dictionary. Oh, that's oh, that's funny. Miss Bill said, "I'm gonna prove you wrong." And you did your um son say, "Oh, nice one, grandmother." And tell us like, "So what's going on with you, boy?" I can figure out what it is. He said, "Oh, hey, cricket. What's your favorite cheese? What's your favorite cheese again?" My favorite cheese is the yellow cheese. Kind of comes from the moo cow. <laughs> okay. Oh, so ridiculous. And Tilly's like, right. Um, and what was your birthday again? When is it? When is it? The day I was born. And he's like, oh, drat, you got you there. And then you know, and Bill's like, oh, Ma, I can't find it. You keep looking for it. 
Okay, and we're back. Sorry for the, the little cut there if you can notice it. But the same thing happened. There was like an ad. Same thing happened with like the Ghosts and Mom Mickey, the the um the mid season finale, the what's it called? The Festival of Lights and the Hanukkah one. So there was an ad, so hopefully there are no more, but anyway. Um we go back on where Tilly did like a final test and she she's like, Okay, you are not cricket and then he's like no, like, um, like, what is it? Um, he says, no, it's me, Crockett. He tells us, like, Papa. And it didn't, Bill's like, tell you, leave Crockett alone. And I'm like, that, I find that kind of annoying because I'm like, come on. You heard the name a couple of times, you should get it, and Bill should get it even more. So I understand Tilly's frustration. Look at that face, I'm like, what's going on here? Um, hold on, um. I'll, I'll get to this in a minute, um. Okay, so we give out this girl, um, I forgot her name, it started with an A, and she basically kidnapped her because she's a super fan of Zun, Zun Brax. Oh, we were gonna be together, and she said, like, oh, some people said I couldn't do it. And Cricket rightfully, rightfully tries to escape, and, um, you know, and she's like, oh, Zun, where'd you go? And, um, yeah, it, I love Cricket just trying to, you know, um, call her mom, mom, I need help. Cricket, where are you? And she's like, oh, hey, um, Zillian can't reach the phone right now. And she's like, well, where's my son? She hung up. Officer Keys. Um, I need you to help me. Oh, hey, Nancy. Oh, my son got kidnapped. I love to help you, Nancy, but, you know, all the police officers are looking for some Brax, and, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan. Car wheel away. And Nancy's like, no. And she's rubbing Cricket's face. Oh, my goodness. And she's like, oh, you know, we're going to sing. And then Craig said, no, I was only pretending to be Zillian Brax. I, I only l look like him. He said, oh, you're, you're such a funny liar, but we're going to sing forever. No. And he said, no, you're, you're Cookie Dukes. I'm getting out of here. And then Tilly's like, Papa, you have to understand that this is an imposter, right? And Bill's like, Tilly, I think I know when I see my son. Nancy comes back. You, you're Zillian Brax. Yep, it's true. And then Bill's like, yeah, I can see that's not my son now. And then Nancy's like, Bill, um, Cricket got kidnapped by one of his own fangirls. What do you mean? How did this happen? We used Cricket and Zillian's uncanny resemblance to get free stuff. And then Bill's like, how could be so thought thoughtless? And Nancy's like, really? Just coming from the guy who mistaken a stranger for his own son? Touche. And I was like, Maybe we can get back to the fact that I'm the only good parent here in a minute. We need to find Cricket. And then Zillian explains, oh, it must be, what was it, um, Adeline or something? Oh, she keeps on trying to lure me into this mannequin warehouse. Okay. And he's like, let's go get Cricket back. Yeah. And Zillian sings, baby, I got money and life's so rad. And, you, and she's singing, and Cricket's like, oh, universe, please, I need my family back. I, I know we don't usually get along, but I, I wanted to have my own life back. I know, I understand now, I learned my lesson that I don't have everything, and that's okay. 
and is it oh come on so your turn saying is it oh, okay oh and then and then poof, they bust in cricket oh family and um And um, I just want to play this. Just, I love the family dynamics in the show. No matter what trouble you're in, we'll always come around. They have always got each other's back. Uh, oh, oh. So, uh, you must be the real. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Like, oh, whatever your kind of trouble you're in, uh, your family will always come to find you. Will always get you out of trouble. And you know, and so it's like, oh yeah, families are forever. And just Cricket cr 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 meets Zillin, and Zillin meets Cricket for the first time. Oh, look alike. Because this is a thing in the real world where you can have a look alike in the world and not be twins and not be related. So this is the case with Cricket and Zillin, as we know of. And she said, oh, smells like, oh yeah, you're really Zillin. And obviously he's coming, Zillin, we reached, we had a word that you could be here. Oh no, Zillin. I'm like, come on, obviously he's different skin tone. The, the eyes look painted on. Come on. But you know, this obviously is for you. And she's like, and, oh, dramatic, like, no, don't do that. And Zillin's like, off the case, I'm right here. Oh, Zillin, you're not her, are you? And the girl with the A, she's like, oh, I tried to kidnap him. You, you try to kidnap my Zillin? I don't like that term. People find it cute, but me personally, I don't like the term, like, using my. Like, you see, you see me in university did that, where Steven said, get away from my Connie and in the Owl House. Amity said, stay away from my loose and now Officer Keys is saying you try to kidnap my Zillin. They're their own people. <laughs> but I don't know. This is the third time this happened. Um <clears throat> Okay. And then um and then she says, no, let me have a minute for with the real son. And then Zillin's like, oh, you guys have, like, you, um, um, you, you guys gave me a lot to think about. I don't like thinking, so I'm going to go back to being rich and famous. Peace and love, y'all. I don't really like that, because what was the point of going to the mundane life? I would like to have how he would have turned around and saying that I'm going to give back to people. But no, not really. Eh, I don't really, I don't really like it. I don't like it. He said, oh, let's go home, but Tilly said, no, I need a final test. Toot. And Cricket laughs. And he said, okay, that's my brother. And, um... Okay, football camp, this is the next segment. The first segment, I give it a... Um... Seventy-five percent. This was it was a C plus. It was good. So you know, not perfect, not fantastic, not great, but it was good. C plus, seventy-five. Okay, time for football camp. And as you can see, but kind of like the the um, the design and stuff, and with like the faded colors, it's the backstory. I was like, oh, okay. And football camp, I think of Remy's dad, like Russell Remington, and it's in the middle of a game, and. It's like, oh, where's um, Russell Remington going in the middle of football? And, and then he's just busting through everything. And, and I'm like, come on, dude. Like, a lot of people in the hospital, you can get hurt. And he's like, oh, where, where's my baby? And, he, and, she, and this is Rosita. Oh, this is when Remy was born. It's like, oh, like, you know, oh, oh, sh like, he's just waking up. And I just want to place right here. And he's like, oh, just look at cute little Remy's face. Oh, my goodness. And then she's like, oh, Russell, he was just born. And I guess Russell said something where, honey, I was um pinting, put putting balls when I was like uh, 11 hours old or something. Uh, was it like 11 minutes? And then he said, okay, come on. But punch the daddy, Remy. And he just doesn't understand because he's a baby. And, and he's like, oh. And Remy's like, oh. Dad, dad doesn't like me. <laughs> and, oh, he has an Audi but, but belly button. I, I like you, Remy. And it says, you know, years later. And, you know, you see 
um, Remy kind of playing football. Oh, okay. And uh, Remy's playing a video game, and Crick said, like, whoa, i never seen you really, like, overheated before. Like, like you know? And he said, like, oh, from concentration. He said, like, oh, you're really good. I'm not good enough. Do you remember when my dad was a famous football star? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, MVP, Russell Remington, this is signature. The Bengals is like the mascot. This trophies, helmets, and famous soccer, the lucky sock, the football. Yep. He said, yeah, we're playing your dad's ding dang game. Russell Remington's football destroyer 19 sports PSX4. Is that supposed to be, is that supposed to be like the PS5 or something? Oh, eight and older. Okay. So I guess that kind of like tells you what Remy's age is, is eight and older, which I kind of really suspected, you know, um, 10, 11. Because 10 years old is Cricket's age and 11 year old is Tilly's age. He could be younger or older, but so it's kind of around that age. And then, you know, and then Remy's kind of disappointed, like, well, I want to, I don't like football, but I want to get good at it. Because my dad doesn't, because I always try to impress him with my puzzle solving skills and my ballet recitals and my, um, my, my, my violin recitals and stuff like that, but it's not working. So I have a plan to impress my dad. I'm going to join the, um, what, what was it? Um, the, the annual little Bengals football camp. That, that's a, is a bangle. That's the mascot. And he's, like, and, he's like, uh, and he's like really close to the screen. Don't do that. And he said, like, I've been studying every tactic and stuff. And then, then you notice the thing at the end of the screen. Say, like, oh, great job, champ. I'm pr proud of you. And Remy wants that in real life. Because he played this thing a million times. It won't be the same thing as a real thing. And, like, and then, you know, Vasquez said, oh, come on, Remy. Mess with Remy. It's time for camp. And then, like, you know, and then Remy said, like, wish me luck, Cricket. Oh, I d I'll do you better. I'll go with you. Really? You're emotional fragile right now. I'm, gonna, I'm your best friend. I'm going to go with you. And you have the, like, you know, um, girls and boys, you know, playing football. And Cricket said, like, I'm indestructible. Yeah, Russell Remington, he's a coach now. That's the job. And he's like, yeah. And you have Bill and Tilly. And your Bill has now chose Tilly as ice cream. Oh, what do you think of Remy and Cricket joining the little Bengals football camp? So it's like, oh, it's neat. And <laughs> I was like, it is not neat. The, the, what was it, like, the Greens are Rooster fans. Remember this in, um, what was it called? Um, the dinner party episode? Um, and did where they had that football game in the rain, in the lightning, and then you, and, um, Alice kept the agitating Russell about, oh, the roosters are better, basically. So that came back. And he's, I can't believe you dragged me into enemy territory. And then Bill's like, your son, your grandson's down there. My former grandson. Oh, jeez, grandma. And then you'll, um, you know, um, you get to have three prizes, basically, if you become MVP. What was the first one again? Okay, so Russell's football tips is a trophy, little bangle flag, football flag, cleats, and I'm number one signed Russell Remington, uh, RR. Okay, you know, football, what is a football helmet? And the next thing is a you know, personalized, you know, signed Russell Remington's football destroyer 19 with the controller. Um, and uh, the next, next thing is like, oh, my respect. But he was like, he was talking, but he can't. He went over here. How do you do that? You know, come on. I'm not sure it was the animation error or they're trying to be funny. I don't know. And then, um, and then he said, Oh, you get my respect and admiration. Right? Remy's like, That's all I ever wanted. And Russell's like, Remy, what are you doing here? Oh, Dad, I came here with Cricket 
and we like football. And then Ren's like, yeah, Crick's like, yeah, your son's a football freak. And Russell's like, well, I never see, I, would, I never thought I'd see the day. Well, it, it, my dream came true. And I love Russell's point. Do not expect special treatment just because you're my son. And Rem's like, bring it on. And then Tilly found the mascot of the Bengal. Oh, you see, you see your kitty. Yeah, I want to pet you. No, because you know, Tilly doesn't understand this is the mascot. Oh, so I'm, I'm going to pet you. And because when Tilly sets her mind to pet a kitty cat, she's going to pet that kitty cat. Okay. And like, you, know, you have Russell going through like the, the training and stuff. Ha, yeah, I still got it. And then, you know, um, and, she, he, and he's a green. Try out the course. Okay. He does say he's buying the thing. And he said, oh, how to do, coach? He's like, you're sly, you're agile, you have a great body for football, but you have no brains. Tough but fair. And he's like, um, oh, oh sorry. I was like, come on, uh, Remy, show, show your old man what you made of. Okay, time to put in everything I know from the game. Remember the saying of what you learn from one thing is different from what you do in real life. So... When you read something about fatherhood or motherhood or something like that, when you actually have a baby, it's like, it's, it's so different. So Remy played the game of football. It's different from what you're doing is physical. So Remy fumbles and Craig says, "Oh, stop fooling around, man! Show you your dad what you're made of." And he just rolls rolls away because he doesn't know what he's doing. Russell's disappointed, and Craig's like, "What happened?" And Remy kind of. You know, went a little, um, like insecure. He's like, he, he doesn't really say he's overweight, but he basically says, um, my brain knows what to do, but my total little body doesn't know how to do it. And Crick's like, well, if we can only find a way to bring your brainful brains and my brainless body together, I have an idea. And Tilly's like, let's see if it gets the tuna. I just want to show you, wait, I, wait a minute. I just want to show you love. Oh, God. And then he sees that Remy's taller. He says, oh, puberty struck me too, all at once. But you see other arms that are yellow with eyes. Different sized legs and no arms in the arm sockets. I know, I know this isn't a serious show, but come on. Come on, <laughs> Mr. Remington. You, you see... Okay, it didn't. And say, oh, okay. He, Remy's basically saying, "I'm the brain, you're the body." And Remy's basically telling Cricket what to do. And he's like, and then you know, and then you're just doing all the things. And Russell's like, "I think if I'm an MVP." And he's like, well, "What did you see that?" And poof, he got tackled. Oh no, my legs! Oh no, I'm legs! And then you, know, Russell's like, "Remy, what happened? I, I was gonna name you my MVP, but you're a cheater." And Cricket's like. Mr. Remington, you're being way too hard on him. He may not be the best football player in physical, but mentally, he is. He, he's the best player I know of your game. Better than you, maybe. Really? And so, oh, it's like, and Remington's like, yeah. And he's, and he's like, oh, corduroy cricket. If I don't do this, if, if I don't be my father, he'll never be proud of me. And then Cricket's like, don't worry, dude. Stay cool, man. You're a genius. We're both geniuses. Okay. And I, I love they're all there, but it's like, oh, go Remy. And I was like, boobo for you. Go Roosters. Okay. And you know, and then, and you know, and then, Russ like, oh, how did you score that? I played this super hard mode. And he's like, oh, okay, son, buckle up. I'm putting, putting this bus to high gear. And you know, they're, you know, Russell, Remy, Remy, they're battling, they're battling. And then Tilly Papa, what's going on? And Crick's like, oh no, he's overheating. And my worst nightmare. But hold on, let me see if I can. We have baby Remy again.
you know, and, you know, Russell hands him the football, but face plants him. Okay, we're back from the ad, and hopefully, we're almost done with the episode, but hopefully that was the last ad, so, please, no more ads, but, um, we're back, and, you know, Russell's like, oh, Remy, daddy's open, and Remy just drops the ball, and Russell's like, oh, disappointed on my own baby, and Remy, like, he's like, no, I'm not baby, I'm a man, <laughs> respect me, and Remy's like, football, and he's like, Craig is like, Remy, your dad's about to win. Get your head back into the game. And they're fighting, they're fighting. And then Russell's like, here comes my winning score. And Remy's like, think again, maybe. And Remy wins. And Remy's about to get the approval. Great job, champ. I'm... And then Russell just turns it off. And then Russell's like... Well, Remy's first like, Dad, why'd you do that? And Russell's like, Remy, I don't understand how you beat me. You don't even like football. And Remy's like, oh, I love football. And then, but, uh, 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 Russell kind of puts his hand on his face, like, to stop from talking. Like, like, come on, dude, don't do that. And then, R Russell's like, Remy, why did you come here today? And he's like, I wanted to get good at football so you can be impressed with me. Well, there's other ways to get my attention other than football. And Remy's like, Dad. And then, you know... And, um, I just need to play this because this is just so heartfelt. With apology. Football is my life, but it shouldn't have to be yours if you want my attention. You're incredible on the violin. You ballroom dance like an angel. You're much better than I ever was at Zola Club. Beating me at this video game doesn't impress me. You impress me. Now I got something I should have told you a long time ago. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Great job, champ. Hopefully that wasn't too long, but I just wanted to play that because he's like, like, football's my life, but it shouldn't have to be yours. I'm sorry if I put too much pressure on you, but you're incredible on the violin. You ballroom dance like an angel. You're better than me of, than I was at solving puzzles. Like, I couldn't even come close. Being me at this game does impress me. You impress me. That's what you want to tell your kid. You impress me. And I need to tell you something. And Remy's like, oh my goodness, it's happening. He's like, great job, champ, I'm proud of you. He's like, oh my goodness. And he's like, you know, thanks, dad, and they hug. And then Crick is just crying. And then Bill's like, hey, Crick, are you okay? He's like, oh my goodness, I love you guys. And hugs Tilly. I, I just want to end it right there, because, oh. So, um, <laughs> so that was some um, football camping. This half of the episode, I give it a, let me see, um, let's see, Hold on, just a minute. I give this half an 80%. This was, this was great. There was just, you know, a couple of things that just kind of bothered me, but this was great. 
the first half, you know, 75, it was good, but this half, you know, this is the better half, you know. Um, you know the funny be part with Tilly until he realized, oh, this mascot, so you're a deceiver, and okay. That's, you know, that's how it ended with Tilly. But, um, Cricket trying to support Remy, Russell kind of coming to terms that Remy's life is in football, but Russell's proud of him either way, and that, you know, um, great job, champ, I'm proud of you. And you have Alice, you know, doing the whole, oh, Roosters are better than be um, Bengals. Okay, that, that's a pretty funny thing. Bill just happens to be there. And, um, yeah, this was just great. The heartfelt moments were there. The What I call action is, you can agree, disagree with me, um, is like movement and it's like fast pace, I, I think. So them like you know tackling each other with like you know, the football and fumbling around and the pff, like the when russell like pff, like like you know with his shoulder the the the, the dummy like you pff, went to space i kind of call that action but you know some people don't call that action it's just scene but anyway um overall i give the entire episode episode six a 80 wait no wait wait a minute A 78% overall this was a good episode because the first half was 75 second half 80 this was a 78.5 C plus it was good um and everyone don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell give me a big thumbs up leave a comment down below don't forget to share the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the light year trailer and I'm going to do the reaction review, two separate videos. That's going to be tomorrow, Saturday. And Sunday is going to be Jurassic World 3. It looks called Dominion Kingdom. That's going to be Sunday, the reaction review for that. And the reason why they're not in separate days, the reaction reviews, is because the Ghost of Mon McGee is coming out. Um, like, you know, the, the rest of Season 1 is coming out um, tomorrow, along with Big City Green, Season 3. So... So I'm doing these trailers things. I'm getting them out of the way. But anyway, like I'll see you guys tomorrow for Lightyear. Alright, bye.